Hi, uh, my name is Michael Stelmark. Um, I am a product of Skellefteå and Luleå. My father is from Ursviken and my mother is from Luleå. And I'm up on stage talking because Arctic Game Lab is part of this amazing house. And we've been part of the development of the house ever since 2014. Um, I should have one of those blip things. So I'm going to run you through a little presentation of what Arctic Game Lab is and what we're doing here, why we are in this house. And I'm going to talk shortly about the Global Game Jam. Um, so Arctic Game Lab is basically the game industry cluster in the far north of Sweden. We're uh, here because of the fact that Swedish, the Swedish game industry is one of the world's most successful games industries. We have companies like Mojang, DICE who make Star Wars, King who made Candy Crush Saga, it's, there's nothing like it in the world, and Minecraft, which has no competition. These are Swedish companies, highly successful, but they are in the south of Sweden. That's why we started the game lab in the north. We need a game industry in the north. So first of all, you I'm just going to show you a short movie. Here's the hands with money. I don't know what they represent. And then there's the bathroom. Um, yes, Minecraft blocks. And here's the Minecraft development team. In 2012, just after Lydia's arrival in Sweden, Mojang's unlikely partnership with the UN began. It was pretty much the whole office tour. It only takes four minutes. So um, why am I show showing you this short documentary? Yeah, because of these tables and these people were sold to, Ma to Microsoft for $2.5 billion. Volvo, the big, big Swedish, the proud, Pride of Swedish car industry and industry was sold to China for, what was it, 1.2, 1.4 billion. So these six people, the product they made in this small office, no fabric, no money, it's just salary, was sold for that amazing amount of money. This is the game industry. We love that. The game industry is the world's fast, fastest growing industry, if you look at some numbers. The net sales in Sweden is 13 billion, but that is because some of the companies are owned by Microsoft, EA, so we don't see all the billions rolling in. And it's nothing bad in the fact that we have foreign countries, foreign companies owning industry in Sweden, because that brings money, that brings people, and that brings competence into Sweden. That's great. We want that up here as well. We want Microsoft, we want EA in the north of Sweden. It has a tremendous growth. It grows and grows. Um, the good thing about game companies, we're talking about trying to export more things. We want to have a certain type of companies in Sweden and in the north. The game companies are born global. Immediately, as soon as we publish anything, it is global. We attract capital money, partners, and competence. Gold Time Games, Gold Time Games, who is situated uh, down below here, they have already brought in lots of competence through their need of people for the company, for the hockey manager game that they are making. It works. Uh, the Arctic Game Lab ties together Norrbotten and Westerbotten, as we have David from Piteå here. We have Jeanette from Boden. Do we have anyone from Luleå yet? There, Luleå. So it's four cities, four municipalities. Uh, together, we have created Arctic Game Lab, tying together the northern part. And of course, these cities have influences that stretches far beyond these limits and these borders. And we hope to expand, of course. I want Kiruna, Jokmok, Trediksröset to be part of this. I want every part, and I want um, Umeå as well in the end. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> uh, 
The great thing about this, when we started 2014, there were no game companies in the city, no real game companies. One was here and they turned and left because something happened with the company. Now we have 16 companies within this region. It's amazing. Many of these are one man or two men or two women companies, but they are here and they're here to stay. We work with supporting education, the cities, we support the companies, trying to get more experience, we're trying to make workshops and educations to be happening more often and to, well, educate. And the work is very much on an international base. Uh, thanks, Region Westerbotten, for sending us all around the world. There, <laughs> thanks. Uh, we was in India not long ago, ago, and the funny thing is that we have some Indian companies that want to move here now. The problem is to help them to come here, but we will solve that, time enough. So thanks again, Vesterbotten, Region Vesterbotten. Um, so, and the most important thing for us is actually to have meetings, drinking coffee. I'm telling people that my work is about drinking coffee a lot. Be because it's basically that, that is what it's all about. Talking with people, helping people, saying that, yeah, you can do it. <laughs> Just continue. We will, we will manage. We have lots of workshops. We have what we call game labs, where we teach about how to make games, the tools, the digital, the, 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 the digital tools, as well as sort of philosophy-wise, how do you get to the market? And we have what we call game yams. And game yams is when we come together and make games. You should all try this. I mean it, you should all try this. In New York, in New York there were two policemen, some sort of industrial worker, worker, and two kids who knew computers who made one of the coolest games. They were not from the typical games industry, none of them. So come to the game yams. What game yams is about is we meet during a weekend and we make games. You don't need to know anything about games. We help you out. And what you have with you from experience from where you are part of the world will make a difference. So, and why I'm on stage is because of, in the end of the BizBuzz week, we will have a global game yam. And the global game yam is basically uh, the biggest event in game yams in the world. Um, Last year, the Game Yam had 96 countries. It's already over 100 countries who's going to be part of it. So while meeting here in Pansalen this weekend, we're going to have links to Tokyo, Singapore, Istanbul, London, Austin, Texas, to be able to talk to other Game Yammers, to other people who make games. It's going to be awesome. So please check out the Global Game Yam homepage. If you want to be part, if you just want to go, go here or come here and have a coffee, I mean it, uh, <clears throat> really, you should just go there and, and, and put your name on the list because you need to be uh, on the list. That's the rules, unfortunately. So even if you come here for a coffee, please go in there and, and just be part of it. And that's my quick run. This is the fastest speech I ever held. 